Reggae World family, welcome to another episode of Wagwan Munchi. Welcome to Reggae Jam, Germany's most popular reggae festival. Welcome to Bersenberg, where we are at right now. And I have a special very warm welcome to my guest on this one. Sivana, welcome to Wagwan Munchi. How is everything? Everything's airy right now. Yeah, I just came off the stage, just finished my set, and I had such a good response from the crowd, and I'm really grateful just to be here, you know? Because as, I don't know if you know, but it's my first solo tour, like with my own band and everything. And my second time to Europe ever, and outside of Jamaica with the band for the first time, so it's a lot of firsts. I'm really, really excited. Yeah. yeah, this is why I thought we should really definitely catch up because we have a lot of news and then we have a lot of premieres and live. This is the first time you just played a while ago and I really love the performance because I love the new songs. We're gonna speak about them in more detail. No, no, I but saw right up. Oh, <laughs> such a good write up. Like, I was very flattered. Thank yeah, you. No, because I was really in love with the EP. But we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna okay. talk about it. But first, I would really like to know, like, this was a second performance of the first Europe tour. You said it. Yes. So how was Reggae Jam? How was being on stage over here? How did it feel? Were you nervous? Or did you enjoy it? What was it like? I loved it. I always enjoy the stage. At first, like, when I just right before I go on, I'm nervous. But once I hit the stage and I'm like singing, I'm fine. Oh. So it doesn't last long. It was a whole heap of fun and the people were very like into it, you know, so that makes it a lot easier for me. But yeah, I enjoyed myself. Do you have any special rituals before you go on stage? No, I just try to warm up. So I do these word exercises that so might sound odd to you, like <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> and then I'll like make sure I'm hydrated and that's it. Good. Yeah. That's very important. A lot of water always. Yeah, even for non singers, so you must hydrate too. Everybody, everybody, yes. Tonight uh, was a wonderful performance. Thank you. you were one of the first ones to perform on Friday. And if oh. you want to uh, catch a performance, of course, we're going to put up videos. So for all those who cannot be at Reggae Jam, they can check out the performance on Reggaeville, of course. Awesome. So we're going to have a report. We're going to have pictures as, as well, of awesome. course. Awesome. So everything will be on Reggaeville. Um, of course, also of the other artists, for example, Chronics will be playing on Sunday, Julian Marley will be playing, and we, we, we have just right right now, yeah. we have Big Youth. <laughs> yeah, Big Youth is amazing, like one of our legendary artists from Jamaica. And and, and then it's it's funny, it closes the circle because he was in the video with Protege, and Protege is your right. buddy, so exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there we have it. So. You, of course, can also enjoy a piece of Big Yod right, right now from Reggae Jam. Big youth at Reggae Jam and of course we're also still at Reggae Jam with Savannah who is as we said on her first Europe tour yep. with your own band yes. and I saw pictures of the band already yeah. online but yeah. I would really love to know because I didn't know the, um, the faces right, right. so please tell me who is in the band and how did you find one another to to get together and play together good question um we phoned because you know protege is a part of my management team right and then i have miss bennett and claire and so on so we really thought you know we needed some youthful energy and then we also needed people who were just really excited and excitable and as excitable as i am because like you know i'm, I'm a little <laughs> bit um yeah so we found them at the edna manley school of the performing arts yeah so some of them are actually still in school um so they took this time off to like really like come out with me um you have ron on piano okay. so he's the one that you see on keys you have kawain on bass he's always very dressed like well dressed um <laughs> makiri on the drums who's just a whole heap of excitement and yeah. laughter all the time and um almando on guitar nice, nice. yeah so we're very actually this is our first time in europe ever so you know first solo tour for me first time in europe for them so it's a lot of first as i was saying before um but yeah, I'm just really grateful to have them and they're very hardworking and just also talented. So yeah, hopefully so we grow they, together. Are they on summer leave now or you took them off, Edna? <laughs> I took them away. 
Oh my. I'm joking. Right, they're not sorry. telling their, their teachers. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the band is here and you're one of, of, um, of uh, let's say, a new generation of young artists. Right. That because this is a lot of effort. This is a lot more effort in terms of organizing and also I think finance to bring your own band from yeah, Jamaica no, here. It, it, um, instead of saying, okay, I come over here and maybe play a DJ set with right. a selector or I, or I just hire a band from over here with less flight tickets, whatever. So it was a deliberate decision, I yeah. guess. Why why did you, you know, put in that effort to say I bring the band? Well, just because I feel like live music is very important. Even though, you know, there's nothing wrong with tracks, um, I feel like the feeling of live music is a lot more interactive and energetic for me, right? And then also, like, I, I wanted it to be that you have Jamaicans interpreting Jamaican music, just to make it a little bit more yadi for me, you know? So that, that's why we made that decision. And I feel like it's good to just really start off like this, just to really have, like, a high standard, you know? Yeah. I think it was a great decision yeah. to make it. Does the band have a name? No, we're just called Savannah for now. We've been trying to like figure out, we, we thought we could, call, we could call ourselves Savannah and the Converse or Savannah, because everybody has a Converse in the band. Okay, um, okay, or Savannah and the, I don't know, robots. We, we played around with names, but nothing really stuck, so we're just Savannah for now. Okay, so okay, yeah, okay. we might add on later on. Might, maybe. We'll, 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 we'll know if yeah. eventually. Um, and of course, the live music you're on tour now, where can the people catch you still? You have a few dates coming up still, yeah. where are they going to be? Yep. Well, I'll be at Reggae Gill. Um, I'll also be on Africa Festival in Austria. And I'll be on a festival, I'm so sorry, I don't remember the name, in Italy. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So people in Italy, watch out for Savannah Catcher and the band live. In case you cannot make it to either one of the shows, which is a humongous pity, I can tell you. But either way, you can also check out a bigger project that is finally out. Yes. The EP, it dropped on July 13th. Yes. You, you had a little release party at yes. Red Bounds. How was that? Oh my goodness, it was packed. I was so shocked that it was packed. Like. All the way back to the bar because it's like a restaurant and bar setting like all the way back to the bar there's just people and the support was just so amazing that was probably one of the best nights in my whole life because just to you know just to see like a girl come through I'm getting goosebumps um it was very emotional and I I was just so grateful on that night and just to see that people were actually rooting for me you know to see it like physically happen it was it was beautiful if you if you want to know how beautiful it was, by the way, there are pictures online on Reggaeville. Just a, just a note to the side. Anyway, um, so the first EP, please tell me a little bit about it. Um, how many tracks? Uh, what styles? Tell me everything. Okay, um, so it's six tracks. Hold on, yeah, six. <laughs> and um, it really kind of shows off a little bit of dynamic in terms of sound because you have like the old school reggae sounds. You have more kind of an R and B pop flavor sounds, and just soul throughout all of them um, and I wanted to kind of just show off a little bit of my writing as well um, well not show off but kind of just you know present, present my writing yeah. present my writing to um, the people and all of the songs are actually really personal to me so they're all kind of you know I sat down we wrote them we went through them they picked these six songs to be on the EP as a team you know as you know winter you know winter yeah. as a part of the team pro DJ Miss Bennett Claire yeah. Jamila and yeah, so we kind of just figured out what songs we wanted to include um, after we spent hours and hours and hours in the studio. And we came up with this. And I'm really, really proud of it. Yeah. Super proud. Yeah, yeah. It's a wonderful, wonderful project. Um, Thank you. Please check it out. We're going to speak about it a little more in detail just in a, in a few seconds from now. But of course, I would also um, like to tell you that there are other records out. Stephen Marley finally oh released The Fruit of Life. Fantastic. Yeah. The revolution part at uh, the revelation. I'm sorry. The revelation part to the fruit. Fruits ripe now. Fruit of life is out since the 22nd. And uh, Joseph Israel re uh, released his paradise just a week before that, so you can check that out as well. And a good, good bridging of mine. Um, he was actually. It's funny because we're closing the circle once more yeah. on the on the Munchies yacht that you were at the yeah. first season. He was also a guest on this one. Toke. Oh. 
and he just dropped his debut album Wake Amazing. Up in a Kingston. So I need check to check it, it out. Yeah, need check to, it yeah. out. I'm, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a little piece right now okay. from the album. It's called Respect featuring Conqueror. Some people like one like there's a rank in between you and me, but there's no you and me, there's only unity. So we we'll choose to be one with our human beings. That's the way we have set our humans free. So respect hey. to all the hard working people and respect. Unity, you are defend respect. Yeah, I Every time. tell you respect from in the standing on the spotlight. Sure. You work so hard, but it come in like and I recognize respect. Sure. Can't you see that all of we are equal? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Toke and conquer a respect and respect is you to my wonderful guest Savannah. We're still here with Wagan Munchi and we're still talking about her EP. One thing we didn't reveal as yet. The title. Yes, right. The name of the EP is actually Savannah. So it's self-titled, just to make people become familiar with my name, because I'm so new, you know. Yeah. And then also, people don't really know how to spell it, so I thought that would be cool <laughs> to put it. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, you mentioned already a little bit, like the styles that are on it. We have some old school reggae and so forth. Um, we have also, I would say, some soulish flavor. Yeah. What else would you say is in it? Um, I guess jazz and maybe a little bit of indie influence because I, I I listen to a lot of different music to be honest. Yeah, um, I, I, I don't know. I kind of just love music. Once I can, once I listen to it, it gives me a feeling. I, I don't care what the genre is. I kind of. And the thing is too because I I'm so obsessed. I have such an obsessive personality. Like if I really love a song, I'll play it for like a month straight. Yeah. And know. then be sick of it, you know. But uh, yeah, I really love music. So I'm a fan of music as well as a writer of music and learning the guitar. Oh. So that's yeah, that's cool. Nice, nice. I'm not super good right now, so I'm not gonna like try to you know play for you right now. But hopefully soon I'll be able to perform with it. All oh, right, looking forward, looking forward. Um, one of the old school reggae songs borrowed um, the music from Horace Andes, yeah. Every Tongue Shall Tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose idea was that? That was actually that rhythm um, came from Danny Basie. You, I don't know if you're familiar, but Danny, yeah. he's he's a legend within like just an int multi-instrumentalist and just brilliant, brilliant, right? He can also sing really well. So, um, but yeah, he sent this. He, actually, Protege had me hear the rhythm for the song, and then I was like, who did the bass on this? Obviously, it's Danny Bassy that did the bass. So I was like, yo, I have to write to this, and that's the song that I came up with. Just a feel good like groovy song just because that's how the bass felt to me so I wanted to match that with the lyrics I love also the organ I guess that was winter yeah. tell me who you you dropped a few names already like yeah. who was um, but tell me again like who produced and and who played instruments apart from, from the okay so um, on the on all the songs we had um, Uncle Glenn play bass we had Monty play guitar um, the drums were actually done by Winter on his drum machine, Whoa. which is really cool, right? Um, <laughs> piano by Winter and a few other names that I can't recall. And I'm so sorry, but I'm very grateful to everybody who, yeah. you know, added their touch to it because it came out really well. It did. It did yeah. Indeed, indeed. Um, we spoke about the music already. I, we, we, it has some pop flavor. It has uh, it has reggae, it has R&B, and so forth. But you said already you wrote the song as yourself, and there's one song. Very interesting. I tried to find the translation for the title, and I have no clue. Uh, Raw, yeah, Raw, Raw. Um, what, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually somebody's name. Oh, okay. Yeah, Raw. Um, oh, and that's how that's how his mother chose to spell it. Because usually it's R A U L, uh, right? We are Raul. Oh. Raul. So um, you know Jamaican spelling. We're creative, okay, yeah, yeah, right? Sure. So R A W L E. Um, he's a friend of mine that, you know, passed on unfortunate circumstances um, several years ago. So I kind of wanted to, you know, just pay a little bit of respect to his memory. Um, yeah. And you played the song earlier, and I think you said that the story that you're singing is based on a true story. Yeah, so, true story. so it is you committing the crime of stealing your neighbor's mango and then him being the alleged accomplice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, it was a whole heap of us. It's a bunch of us that actually climbed the fence and stole the mangoes. Oh so yeah, go which, on. It, <laughs> Which it's 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 not that far fetched in um, from where, where I grew up because everybody had trees in their yard and even the neighbors didn't really mind, um, but it was stealing. So yeah. Okay, okay. I'm 
I don't no, still judge. know. I don't still know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. This has probably passed too long ago. So I was, there, I was a little yeah. girl. I was yeah. very young. Very little and, and looked so innocent, probably. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't suspect me. <laughs> so this is actually what happened. Like like the, the whole story, the whole like story. the flying um, kite and yep. uh, skating down the slope. And yep. So yep, yep. We used to actually spend a lot of late nights because we used to always be over his house, his family's house, playing video games and playing Monopoly, oh. right? Um, and there was like a slope down, like down the street from me, like when he made a right turn, there was a slope. So we had like skateboards that we just go down the slope. It was very fast and very dangerous. So, you know, living on the edge. <laughs> yeah, like a daredevil. Ah, oh, all right, nice, nice. I, I think this song is very wonderful. Musically, I love it, but also the story because it really paints a picture in your head of how, how it was. Like yeah. you can literally imagine yeah. and I think, I'm, are you gonna maybe release this with a with a video? Because I totally. Um, yeah, I think I think I think so. I think we'll try to do videos for a couple of the songs. But okay. right now, actually, a lot of we're getting a lot of love on Easy to Breathe. Oh, yeah. yeah, a lot of people are connecting with that one. It's actually on BBC One Extra now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's that's incredible. So I think we'll probably do a video for that. Maybe I'm um, Love the Way and Raw. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. Those are you have three favorites? Yes, also. those, those, exactly. And what I think, um, throughout the whole songs, I think love, the theme of love is like yeah. a is like a common thread. That was by accident or that's just your theme or? I think that's my, my theme, I feel, because I don't, I believe in love and I feel like it, as cliche as this sounds and everybody says it over and over, but it's true, um, love can fix a lot of things that's wrong, you know? Yeah. You know? It can fix a communication issue, it can fix an ignorance issue. Um, there's just so many things, so many barriers that love overcomes and, I, and that's like a true part of who I am. So I guess it just came out that way. It wasn't meant to be like a theme, but it just came across that way. Yeah. I think that's even nicer when it's just natural like that, you know? Thank you. So, Savannah, the EP is out and um, you said it, uh, you, you, you're gonna push um, you're gonna push another video coming up? Yeah, or? yeah. We, we don't we don't have a release date yet, but definitely we'll work on that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So for now, you can check out the videos for Chanted, which is out, yeah. and for a bit shy. A bit shy. Yep. They're on Savannah's YouTube channel. Yep. But of course, I would like to mention that of course there are also premieres on Reggaeville's YouTube <laughs> every day or almost every day. Uh, so you can check them out. One of them is Teflon, who just dropped Champion Sound. We no juggle with no sound, we no design work. We will chop them in and them pierce me down a fine. Eh? If them book up in a me sound, eh, so you find them. Eh? You can go on centred, remember time then. Eh? Oh. The Champion Sound and me, and the Champion Sound and me. Get up everybody, cause of the Champion Sound and me. Get them and the Champion Sound and me. Champion Sound and me. Teflon Champion Sound and the Champion Sound that's coming from Savannah is our EP. So please check it out, Savannah. It was such a pleasure thank speaking you. to you. Thank, thank you, you, thank you so much. Right. Now I wish you all the best for the rest of the tour. Please enjoy Europe. I will, I will. And again, like if you uh, don't have the opportunity to come see me live with my band, you can find my EP everywhere on Tidal, Amazon, iTunes, Spotify. Yeah. Check it out. Thank you so much, Savannah. Thank you. Blessed love all Thank the Thank you best. so much. Thank you, Munchie. It's <laughs> nice seeing you again. What one, Munchie? <laughs>